So we're going to work on our self portraits, our creative assignment self portraits. There's two ways of getting to that. One, you can go to your week at a glance and come on down to your self portrait link. The other way you can get to your self portrait assignment is if you um, go to our main web page, our main computer graphics web page, and then go down to the creative assignments and then click on your self portrait here. Okay, so the objective for this assignment is to use Adobe Illustrator to create a vector based portrait. Your portrait will have the appearance of a cartoon or video game character. You're gonna demonstrate your knowledge of how to use the pen tool, eyedropper, and layers. You'll also be using a lot of the selection tool direct and direct selection tool. So the first assignment, which is actually due today, I want you guys to do it today and get that uploaded at some point, is for you to take a picture with your phone and upload that picture, okay? So you can also use a regular camera, but that is due at the end of the period. If you turn it in tomorrow, that's fine as well. So if you take a look at this, um, when you take your portrait, for your, and you may already have a selfie on your camera that you can use and that's fine. But for your picture that you're gonna use, it needs to be relatively close up. So I suggest from waist up or torso up. It can be from your shoulders up, which is your face. It needs to be relatively close. You don't want it to be really far away because you'll have too many details and it'll get blurry when you try and, and blow, blow, in, blow up on it and get a close up. Be appropriate for school, of course, but you guys already are. And then make sure that your portrait is not blurry. So if you were moving when you took the portrait, it might be a little blurry, or if you applied a filter. So you don't want it to be a blurry. You don't want to have a filter on your portrait. And then also make sure it's not already a vector. Okay, so you haven't uploaded that into an app and turned it into a vector, just a portrait. 20 points, I want you to upload it and I will give you the easy 20 points so that I, I wanna see the picture so I can make sure that you are on the right track. So it's a little pre-work to this assignment. Um, submission links, this Friday, I would like for you to upload a progress shot. You're not gonna be finished. I just wanna see where you're at. I wanna make sure you're at the right, what you're doing the right thing. I don't care if it's messy or out of control. I just want to see where you're at, see what I need to do to help you and make sure that everybody is uh, working and that you're all, um, that, you, that you're that you just on, on target to, to have this look like it's supposed to. And then the actual project is due next Friday. So you have two full weeks to work on this project. So when I assign it, I know that this project's gonna take you at least nine hours to do. Okay, so that's why you've got two weeks and I don't wanna, I want you to, I don't want you to procrastinate. I want you to put your best foot forward while you do this and really um, be proud of what you create. Okay, so steps to completing. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make an eight and a half a nine by, I'm sorry, an eight by 11 or 11 by eight and a half inch document. You're gonna upload that portrait from your electronic device. Uh, you can, if you have a phone, you can plug your phone into your computer. You can, uh, from your phone, if you have an Android, you can use your Google Drive, upload your picture to your Google Drive and then use it that way. You can use um, the iCloud if you have an Apple, so there's lots of different ways of getting that picture to the computer. Okay, um, let's look at our grain scale. This will give you an idea of what you need to be doing. Always know what you're gonna be graded on before you start on your project. Okay, so are the project objectives, description and scope? the same as the specified description. So are you using your pen tool? Are you, um, did you make a portrait? Did you um, make sure that it was your face? You know, that kind of thing. 
So are you doing the right assignment? 10 points. Did you make it the right size? 10 points. Then you get points based on how you used Illustrator. You have a good command of how to use the paths. Your paths are curved um, with the contour of your face or your clothes. They're not all just anchor points that you've placed ding, 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 because you don't have to know how to make the curves. Okay, so that's the command of the paths. Your fill color is correct and appropriate. You have highlights and shadows, 10 points. And then you met your concept of self-portrait, 10 points. Okay, so then craftsmanship, that's really effort, um, quality, craftsmanship, applied skills, knowledge. This is your next series of points. So 10 points for craftsmanship, 10 points for a creative background, 10 points for attention to detail, and then special effects, color corrections, textures, details, that kind of thing, that's also additional 10 points. Okay, so any questions about your grading? Okay, good. All right, so this is an example. I'm gonna also show you some additional examples. Um, let's go down here to Bridge. This is from two years ago. Last year, we couldn't do uh, self-portraits because of quarantine. So I'm gonna show you some above and beyond like A plus without a doubt portraits. And then I'm gonna, I can also show you some stuff that needs a little bit more work. So uh, let's look at Sebastian. This is without a doubt phenomenal work. So nice texture with the hair, very creative background, all the highlights and shadows. That's what, look at his nose. Highlights and shadows. That's how your work, you are gonna look three-dimensional. Your ears, same thing. I mean, he just did an amazing job with all the detail on his mouth, on his shirt, phenomenal. Uh, let's look at um, Simeon's. Simeon also did a beautiful job on his piece. He did a great job. So Derek did a really cool job. He didn't have as many details on his face, but he also, but he did a good job. I mean, he did a very nice job. And he, then he added this clipping mask. He didn't do all this anime. This is a picture, um, but he used the picture and made a clipping mask and um, put that into a shirt. Let's see, um, okay. So think about if you want to add expression, taking yourself and add some expression to it. That's how you're gonna make your work um, just like a little bit more, give it a little more is to give it some self-expression. Take yourself and move yourself so you're not right in the center. That's also pretty cool. So this project definitely has some room for self-expression. This guy, um does not wear an eye patch but he wanted i mean like he put so much detail in here and he asked he's like can i put an eye patch i really like that idea here's why i was like okay and kevin so kevin you can play around with gradients so kevin added a gradient for his mouth and in the background you can do that um, if you have details like this on your shirt that you want to add, you can. Glasses are a lot of fun to do. So here's Yusuf, and he decided he wanted to add some extra color to his. And he had glasses, and he wanted to add all those little highlights that reflected off of his glasses, which made a very cool effect. So he got very expressive with his. Um, I wanted to show you, so Kenley added some really nice details to hers. Let's 
I'm trying to think if I've shown all these yet. Oh, okay, so gradients, you can put gradients in your hair. Some people have added gradients to their face. You can do that too. Lily did one last year, or two, this is two years ago. She did a good job. All right. So the next thing I want to show you guys is I put lots of videos on here to help you. So I have the how to get started video where I am doing a portrait of one of my daughters. So I kind of get started on here and I show you just basically uh, opening a new document, making it the right size. Um, I do use the term H drive and S drive on here, but you don't have to worry about that. You're gonna use your Google drive to save your work. Um, adding highlights and shadows. Okay, so I take a picture of my son and I and show you that. How to do a mouth and then how to do teeth and then hair and there's multiple ways of doing hair. Okay, 